he moved back to Japan finally in 2000. And uh, the following year, 2001, Yokohama Museum uh, organized the first major solo exhibition of Nara in his home country titled, I Don't Mind If You Forget Me. <laughs> that exhibition broke the museum's attendance record. And ever since, Nara has continued to generate a massive following in Japan and abroad, particularly among young people. His images of literal children and animals are instantly recognizable to many people today, and they are quite unforgettable. Like the girl on the ashtray, which was based on this painting entitled Too Young to Die, one of the paintings uh, displayed at the museum uh, in Yokohama. Something in his art uh, was making a special connection with youth in Japan and today across the world at the deepest level of their psyche. In order to better understand this special connection, I will first briefly lay out the social and cultural background of Japan during the 1980s to the present, and later on I will come back to my analysis of this special connection and what I think is at the core of a kind of not a phenomenon, and what it means to our exhibition, Yoshitomo Nara, Nobody's Fault. 